Hi everybody, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and unfortunately you have to look at my face today. Um, it is raining here, and so today we're gonna to talk about rain and chickens. And essentially, what I like to do in a lot of my videos, and what's really gonna to happen today, is I'm gonna give you just some different facts, some different perspectives, things to think about when it comes to, um, if it's raining, what should I do with my chickens? Should I lock them up and not give them the option to go out in the rain? What kind of things should I consider? Should I let them choose if they want to go in the rain or not? And just some other things to think about so that you can pick and choose what type of solutions work for you and for your flock. So yes, this will be an educational video, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do one way or another. I'll tell you what's worked for me. I'll tell you my experience. Um, again, I've had backyard chickens for a little over two years now. I live outside of San Antonio. Um, I have, how many birds do I have? I have five chickens right now. And so I'll just tell you my experience um, from me researching, from me talking to other chicken owners who are in the area. So the goal with this video is to give you some different things to think about, some different ideas, and then at the end, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You could figure out what works for you guys. Now, I always appreciate your comments, your suggestions, any questions that you've got, put them down in the comments, but just in case my YouTube is acting goofy because I always respond within like six or eight hours. If you have, if you wanna send me, you know, photos of your coop and like, hey, what do you think I should do or whatever, you're also welcome to email me and that's my email address. Okay, so now moving on. Here's the deal with chickens, and we're gonna talk mostly about rain, but I'll also talk about like pools, like ponds and standing water and that kind of thing. So perfect timing, it, it was raining this morning and I've been wanting to do this video, so that's why you're looking at my face. You're, I'm not just showing the chicken coop for 10 minutes. So a couple of things to know about chickens already, if, if you didn't know, just to kind of help you. Again, I just wanna build up your toolbox, your arsenal of the facts that you know in the back of your mind, and that way, whether you're designing a coop or you just got chicks or whatever the situation is, then you have all that information and you can make the best decision for you guys. So, if you have a normal breed of chicken, like as normal as chickens can get, right? Um, I'm not talking about frizzles, and frizzles are the kind that look like they've been electrocuted. Their feathers all flip out, do like this little Nancy Drew thing. So not any kind of frizzle, and there are hundreds of chicken breeds, so this can get kind of lengthy. So not any kind of frizzle breed and not any kind of silky, and the silkies are the cute little showy ones that look like they're really poofy and their feathers are thin and floofy. Floofy is a word now, by the way. If you have a regular breed of chicken that has those normal chicken feathers that are long and smooth and shiny looking, those feathers are actually waterproof. Now the under feathers, like on the undercarriage of your chickens that are, you know, the floofy like down feather type, those are not waterproof. And of course, if you have chicks, until your chicks are fully feathered, which is a minimum of six to eight weeks depending on the breed, they are not weatherproof either. But once you have a full grown chicken, any water coming from above and dripping on them will just roll right off their back because those feathers are waterproof. Now, I do have family members who grew up with chickens. I'm gonna put this phone down so it quits, doesn't bounce around anymore, sorry. So I do have family members who would tell me that when they were growing up and they had chickens, if a chicken looked up like during a rainstorm, the chicken would drown itself. I haven't heard of that happening. I'm not sure if that there's any <laughs> truth to that, any reality to that. But I think one of the big questions here is, if it's raining, do I need to run out and lock up my birds or not? My particular answer is no. I don't lock up my chickens when it's raining. Now right now, if you haven't seen my coop, they're in a covered coop and run right now, so they actually have a roof on them at all times. But in the next month, we are going to like double their square footage and give them a ton more space. That space that I'm giving them is not going to have a roof or a ceiling on it. It is just gonna be open air. To me, I feel like I wanna give my chickens the freedom to go out if they want to in an area that's being rained on, you know, to where the ground is getting wet. Where they are right now, even when it, we've had some severe thunderstorms since we moved in about a month ago, none of their ground has gotten wet at all. I mean, unless it's really, really windy, you know, and the rain can blow horizontally into their, their coop and their run. Other than that, they're not gonna get wet at all, which means the ground doesn't get wet. So here are some things to think about if you are, you know, and again, this depends on a lot of factors that are individual to you. It depends on how many chickens you have. It depends on how much square footage you have. Um, I mean, do you get to stay home during the day like I do? Like I go out and run errands for a couple of hours or whatever, but I mean, normally I'm home very regularly. 
So for me, you know, my chickens are close to the house. I only have five birds. They're not out on acres and acres of, of land or anything like that. So for me, keeping them contained is a very simple process. You know, I've only got five hens to worry about. I, I may get a couple of more uh, this summer, but I mean, the max I'm going to have is eight. So, I mean, this is not a big, huge enterprise going on here. It's not a huge ordeal. So what I like to do is I do like to let them, they have the choice, they'll have the freedom of, yeah, I want to be out and stand in the rain for a minute or no, I don't. Honestly, for me, when we had our old coop and run, where it was that innovation pet kit, and most of my videos on my channel are about that little like gray, blue, and white kit, and then their little fenced run area. If it wasn't raining super crazy hard, or if it wasn't really cold or really windy, my chickens would be out in it. And there are actually some advantages to letting them be out when it rains. Um, you know, a lot of bugs that live in or on the ground, like snails, slugs, worms, they'll drown if they're in the ground and the ground gets really saturated. So they have to come up, like worms have to surface, right? So that they can breathe. And hey, that's like free protein snacks. Chickens just stand around and the, the bugs come up and they can eat them. So there, there are some advantages to letting them be on ground that's wet. For me, the risk and the problem comes after the rain because you will have animals like ants and ants will build huge, ridiculous ant hills after it rains, right? Like the ant hills pop up everywhere. You, the other thing that I worry about with rain is you wanna make sure that the land your chickens are on is well, um, it has good drainage. So you don't have standing water. Your chickens are not like on the low part of your property because the standing water not only is a problem for mosquitoes and stuff, which I just did a video on mosquitoes and flies and things like that and how they're just gross and annoying, but they can also be a more serious problem. But then you have, you know, chickens, we have to remember, they're not like your normal like house cat or dog or whatever. I mean, they're outside 24 seven and you don't really want your chickens standing around in like rainwater. That's, that's, kind of a problem and you know your chickens if they have a little cut on their foot because I mean they're scratching around in the dirt and stuff all the time right like they live outside they're standing on the ground and then they stand in that water that can irritate any kind of bumblefoot situation you may have going on and bumblefoot you can look it up it's it's gross I've got videos on it I had to deal with it with one of my birds when I got her um, the bumblefoot is basically they get a cut on their foot and it it creates like a little pus filled um, it's called like like a kernel um, on like the pad of their foot, but it can get into their bloodstream because it's essentially staph infection and it can be really bad. So them standing around in like dirty water is not what you want. So you need to make sure, these little birds are like arguing like crazy, they're so mad. So you need to make sure that it's just a well-drained area. You've got, you know, you, you don't have standing water and problems after the rain. So I don't mind my chickens getting wet, you know, them being with waterproof feathers and fully grown and things like that, to me, it's not a problem. If you're going out of town or something like that and it's supposed to rain, then you want to be careful because you're not going to be around to see anything. Now there are, it's it's rare, but there are instances of chickens drowning. I mean, they can fall into a trough like on a farm and drown. Um, and the irony is that because chickens have, you know, feathers and the, the quill of the feather is full of air. And also, I mean, chickens are birds, so their bones are hollow. A chicken will float. And there you can see there's there's hilarious videos that I've shared before of, um, you know, a chicken, somebody picks up their chicken and just like puts it in a swimming pool and the chicken just kind of like bobs around. And there's videos you can look up of chickens swimming across lakes and things like that. So chickens are capable of floating, but they're also kind of dumb. So if they fall into something and they can't right themselves, that's where you start to deal with with issues. If you're coming into having like I have a kiddie pool because I have ducks or I have a pond or I have you know, a, a swimming pool. Like there was somebody on the forums the other day who said, you know, we just bought this house and we want to let our chickens free range, but we have a, like an in-ground swimming pool without like a, a kid fence around it. Are my chickens going to, you know, what are they going to do? And they might drink out of it and they might ignore it and never go near it. And they might fall in and drown and they might fall in and float. So it's kind of like, eh, you don't really know. But as far as the rain itself, I don't feel like rain is a problem. I do feel though, that you need to keep a couple of things in mind. If you're like me and you say, yeah, like I'm gonna let my chickens go out in the rain, it's no big deal. First of all, you need to make sure if it's cold, you don't let your chickens stay cold and wet because that's a problem. So the big thing to me is that you make sure that there's a place they can go if they want to be out of the rain. They need to have access to a covered place all the time. And that may just be their coop, which they need access to all the time anyway. You may have a patio or another covered spot that they can kind of run to and go for cover if the rain starts getting bad or if they're like, all right, dude, like I've had enough of this. To where their feet can get dry, to where they can kind of chill and they're not constantly being bombarded with raindrops. 
you need to make sure, I don't know what that bird is making noise. You also need to make sure that your chickens always have access to clean, fresh water and their food, and their food has to stay dry. Um, chickens are very sensitive to all kinds of respiratory stuff, which includes like mold and that kind of thing, but they can also get really sick really quickly if they're eating food that has mold on it. So like even your feed bag, as this has happened to me, your chicken food bag is probably not completely waterproof. There's that little white paper strip that's like the seam that holds the two pieces of the bag together. If that gets wet, it will absorb water up into the feed, and then guess what? All the food, all your chicken food at the bottom of that bag is now molded and it's ruined and you can't feed it to your dogs and you can't feed it to your chickens and you can't really feed it to anybody. You have to just get rid of it and that's money that you're having to throw away. So making sure that there is a, a dry zone for your chicken's food, you know, and for your extra food, have a storage unit or something, you know, like a, one of those outside storage bins, have a shed, have something where their food can definitely stay dry and just give them an opportunity to where they can stay dry and warm. Now I will say, yeah, you don't want chickens getting a chill, but you don't have to necessarily worry about them getting a cold. Chickens do actually do better with cold tolerance than they do with heat tolerance. When a chicken gets too hot, that's when it gets really, really dangerous because they can't cool themselves down as efficiently as they can keep themselves warm. So when it comes to rain, I, I personally let my chickens kind of choose for themselves that they're going to have options here in the next month or so where they can be out in it if they want to and they can go forage for those worms and those other bugs that are coming up. They can just stand out there. It'll cool their feet down. Um, another random fact, that I know this, this video is kind of like all over the place. I just want to teach you everything that I know and anything that I might be relevant is stuff that I'm bringing up. Um, talking about chickens being too hot, the fastest way to cool down a chicken is by giving them something cold to drink, like ice water, and by keeping their feet and their legs cold, because, well not cold, but cooler, you know what I mean, because that's the part of their body that you can most quickly access their blood, their blood vessels, and then that'll circulate like a radiator system going through their body. So getting their feet nice and cool is really important. So to me, if it's raining and they the ground is now cooler because of the rain, let them stand on that and that'll cool them down. So like I said, I, I'm not gonna lock up my chickens when it's raining. Maybe if it's like flash floods or like it's coming super quickly or you know it's starting to rain and you're like, crap, I've gotta go to work and I'm gonna be gone for eight hours. In those instances, it might make sense for you to lock up your chickens. But I mean, other than that, and I'm gonna move because my arm's getting tired, sorry. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't, you can tell I normally don't do this. Um, other than that, I wouldn't really worry about, there they are, I wouldn't really worry about having to lock up your birds and go run outside like as soon as it starts to sprinkle or anything like that because I mean thinking about how chickens are in nature I mean if it gets bad they'll go find cover they'll try to find high ground things like that chickens certainly are not water birds most chickens don't like being out you know in the rain or probably wouldn't want to go jumping in a pool and things like that some do but you know those are the ones who become famous on the internet but at the same time you know a chicken getting wet is not life-threatening or anything like that. Like I said, you do want to make sure that a chicken that's like a frizzle or a silky or a chick that's not fully feathered yet, they cannot control their body temperature as much, so I would be careful about letting them get wet and stay wet. Like maybe you want to try, dry them off or get a hair dryer or definitely, you know, put them where they have access to a heat lamp or something like that so they don't get cold. But otherwise, let it rain. Like it's, it's okay. Your chickens will make the decision on, Hey, this is nice. I'm going to go out here because now there's more bugs or, okay, now this is annoying. I'm going to go stand inside. So keeping their food dry, helping with temperature control, and certainly making sure that there's enough drainage on your property so that your chickens aren't standing in swamp. The other thing I'll mention really quickly here at the end is if you have problems, let me switch here. If you have problems with, um, you know, flooding on your property or, Hey, you know, we have like you know, after it rains, there's spots in the chicken run where like there's standing water, you know, where I need to make the ground higher. You can certainly got, get any kind of, of dirt. Um, you know, topsoil is just like the cheap, basic dirt. It's really cheap. Those are red shoulder hawks and they're only about the size of my chickens, but they hang around anyway. And then I yell profanities at them and then they fly away. Um, so um, topsoil or any kind of dirt like that, you can buy that stuff. It's really, really cheap per bag. It's like two bucks for, I don't even remember how many 
uh, cubic feet. It's really cheap. You want to make sure you don't use any kind of material that has any kind of fertilizer or additive in it because obviously your chickens are going to peck at it and eat it. The other thing that I love and I have a separate video you can check out is peat moss. Peat moss is basically the exoskeletons of moss. So it's super crazy absorbent. It's soft. It smells good. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's awesome. So you can check out that video if you want to, but otherwise your chickens can play in the rain. It's totally fine. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.